Shalom, Shalom. This is Amawan from the Lions Den Camp Yasha Allah. Coming at you guys for another lesson. Hope it's edified to the Akim, to the Akwafyam. Alright, to anyone that's out there listening. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and the Son in the Holy Proper Two Names. And I want to say, Call Halayim La. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Ha Raka Kodash Ma'amaf. The honors to the Apostles and the elders of GMS. It's salutation to the Akim that's pushing this truth around the four corners of the earth. And also, I want to do a double honors to my elder as well, Ahir Awan, by Yasha Allah, of the Lions Day Camp of Yasha Allah. Right. The lesson I'm going into today is based upon how the Lord is our rock. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is our powers, and then our our rock, all right? And how we should be putting our trust and our faith in them and not man, because man is going to fail you. Man is going to deceive you. Men is going to misguide you, man. But hey, the ones that put their trust in the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, all right, he's going to guide them, all right, in all righteousness, man, and lead them, all right, into safety, all right? And that's what we want. We want to be in a, in a place of safety, man, because we definitely in the times of Jacob's trouble, all right, we definitely in the times of what the devil coming down with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. So a pressure is going to be pressed upon the people, man. But the scriptures tells us to not be soon shaking their mind, all right, because of these things, man. All right, but to what put our trust and our hope in the Lord, knowing that they're going to protect us, all right, and they're going to guide us, all right. So the first scripture I'm going to go into is Psalms uh, 118, uh, verse 8. It says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. All right, and it says it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes, man. All right, because what the Lord is our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. All right, He is the, the deliverer. That's what His name means. All right, Yahweh Shai. All right, so a hey, putting our trust in the Lord. All right, seeking the Lord. The Lord is going to protect His people. All right, the ones that's listening to Him, that's hearkening to His words. All right, the ones that's the ones that's trusting in his name, all right? So, the next scripture I'm going to go into is Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Now now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled. Neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as the day, as that day of, of Hamashiach is at hand. Conquer the day of the Lord is definitely at hand. All right, but the scripture tells us to not be soon shaken in mind because a lot of these things, all right, the, the, the Lord said what's going to happen is going, it's going to come to pass. So it's, it's going to be a great judgment. And the scripture says that the, the Lord's judgment is going to start first in the house of Israel, man. So we definitely in the times of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, we definitely in the times of Esau coming down with great wrath, but the scripture says to not be shaken. The scripture says to, to not fear, all right, because the Lord is our protector, our redeemer, all right, our place of safety, all right. So what? It says to not be soon shaken in mind, all right. Verse 3 says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that, that and he's been revealed, all right? The so-called Caucasian race, man. All right, Esau, Edom, they're being revealed, all right, by their wickedness, all right? By all the things they have done, all right, in the past, all right? From the old times to now, all right? And it says to not be deceived by any means because Esau liked to speak. You know, ravish things and things that sound good to our people, but he's ultimately having a deceiving heart. All right, he's trying to deceive you to to follow after his plans, man. All right. So what he says by any means, be not deceived. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to Psalms. Time because uh, Psalms 55 and 21 it says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. So that was a precept to, to uh, you know, 
2 Thessalonians because it says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, but yet were they, yet were they drawing swords. Come, man, because that's what Esau does, man. He he make his words sound smooth and, and, and sweet, all right? But in his heart, it's war, all right? Especially towards the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because still to this day, it's war in his heart, all right? Even from the beginning of Genesis, all right, from Jacob and Esau, all right? It's a, a perpetual hate towards his brother, all right? So, you know, he's going to do what he can to deceive the Lord's people, man. So what the scriptures again said to be not deceived, man. That's why we're supposed to be putting our trust, all right, in the Lord's words, man. All right, and what the Lord say, all right, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai say, man, because their names are very important, all right, and they do matter, all right, because Nate the, Nate the Snake, all right, of IUIC, he's preaching that the Lord's name does not matter, all right. He's trying to say that the Lord's name is not important at this moment and that the world doesn't have the Lord's name. But yet they all have Hebrew names, but, but they're still calling on the Lord. They're still calling on Jesus and Christos, man, but not his Hebrew true name, man. All right. So let me go to uh, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 31. It says the horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. Come, man. So, a hey, according to Isaiah thirty one and one, it says, "Woe to them, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help." You know, that trust in chariots and you know in horses, man. You know, so those those people that's putting their trust in the system, that those that's putting their trust in Esau and and, and, and in man, all right, it's gonna be damned, all right. You know, and it, and it says what the horse is prepared against the day of battle. So those that's running to that horse, running run to Egypt for help, all right, is gonna be uh, demolished in the day of battle, all right. But those that put their trust in the Lord and is falling after the Lord, He's gonna lead them into safety. You know, it's just but safety is of the Lord, man. So I'm gonna go back to Psalms chapter eighteen. It says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Because Yahweh Shai is the ultimate deliverer. It's, that's what his name means. Yahweh Shai means deliverer. It says, and my deliverer, my power, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation in my high tower. Because kind of according to Proverbs 18 and 10, it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run up into it, and it's safe, man. So that 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 high tower, you know, that righteous tower, you know, a been been upon that that rock, that foundation of the Lord, man. You know, our, our foundation is never gonna fall. We're gonna always always be rooted and laid on the foundation. All right, that's everlasting, man. That won't be moved if when the wind comes. All right. That's why it's very important to know that what house that you in, you know, if you in a house of wickedness, you better get out of it, man. Because when that wind, when that destruction comes, the house is going to crumble. All right. But if you go to the house of safety, which is of your how while your house shy, it's not going to fall. It's not going to budge. It's not going to move, man. All right. Because we need the Lord, man, in these times, man. And we in the times of plagues and, and prophecies, man. All right. Hey, this, this, hey, th these things are definitely coming to pass. The CD, CBDC, you know, the centralized bank digital currency, man, that's been implemented, man. All right, we're finna see a lot of torment and a lot of sorrows, a lot of pains for my people, man. You know, so let me go to some. Psalms 31 and 2, it says, Bow down thy ear to me, deliver me speedily. Come, because we definitely in these times where we, we, you know, we shouldn't be, you know, praying without season to the Lord, man. 
You know, and that is what we're supposed to do always, man, because the Lord hears the prayers of this righteous men, of his people, all right, men, women, and children, all right? So those that's praying to the Lord, you know, the Lord hears you, all right? So Psalms 31 and 2, it says, Bow down thy ear to me, deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. It says, For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. So for thy name's sake, those that it's really important because you know that, that word sake means the, the purpose of, the intent of, all right. You know, the importance of, all right. So that you know the, the name of the Lord is definitely important, all right. Yahweh. Why you how shy? All right. It says, For thou art my rock and my fortress, man. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. And that's what the Lord is going to do to his people, man. All right. This is the book of Isaiah 54, verse 14. It says, In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Con, so the ones that what that's being taught of the Lord, because according to what verse thirteen says, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children, man. So the ones that's what being taught of the Lord, being guided of the Lord, all right. The ones that seeking the Lord, seeking the, the, the Lord's face, man, all right. They're going to be guided. They're going to be protected. All right. And they're going to be established. All right. And what it says, thou shalt be far from oppression, man. So although Esau is coming down with great wrath, the Lord is going to keep his people sane. All right. Keep them what grounded. All right. Rooted. All right. And far from oppression, you know. And for not fearing. All right. Because the Lord is our ultimate help, man. So I'm going to go to Psalms chapter 5, verse 8. It says, Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. Because, kind of, you know, hey, being in this truth, the Lord makes that straight pathway, man. That narrow, straight gate pathway, man. All right, that we got to walk down, all right. It says, lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Again, because Esau was, you know, he's a deceiver, man. You know, it says the inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sceptre, uh, sceptre, sceptre. They flatter with their tongue, you know. It says, destroy thou them, O, o Yahweh. Let them fall by their own counsel. Because why? Esau, he, he, he lays traps, you know, privately uh, for the Lord's people, man. All right? It snares and traps everywhere, man. You know? And they is doing things that's an abomination towards the Lord, man, by trying to destroy his people, man. You know? It says, for there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulchre, uh, uh, like a sepulchre. They flatter with their tongue. It says, destroy thou them, O Yahweh. Let them fall by their own counsels, man. So by their own snares and traps, let them be taken by them, you know. It says, cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee. It says, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name, because that name is very important. All right. The ones that love that name of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, will bless the righteous with favor, right? And will 
thou could pass him as with a shield, man. So, hey, again, the Lord is our protector, man. Our defense of safety, all right? When attacks come, the Lord is going to bat them down. It, it, nothing is going to touch us, man. As long as we do what's pleasing unto the Lord, as long as we, you know, do according to his will, you know, seeking after him, seeking his face, you know, trusting in their names, trusting in them, all right, and not leaning onto the right or to the left, but stand on that narrow straight gate pathway, all right, chasing the Lord, man, you know, because the Lord say what, those that hearken unto him, all right, he's going to hearken unto them, all right, you know, so, hey, when we in the time of trouble, you know, we pray, you know, as scripture says, the, uh, the ears, the ears of the Lord are open unto the righteous, man. You know, so our prayers are being heard, man. You know, so that's the place that you want to be. That's the side that you want to be on. That's the house that you want to be under and not the house that's built with hay or sand or wood. All right. Or brick, you know. But having that foundation been built by Yahawashai, which is the rock, you know, the true stone, cornerstone, you know, according to what Psalms chapter 118 and 22. I'm starting verse 21. It says, I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refuse is become the headstone of the corner. All right. So, hey, that's that stone with the, which the builders refuse. And that's like 2,005 people that's refusing that rock. All right. That begate them, man. All right. According to Deuteronomy 32, man. You know, our people are still stiff in that end of a rebellious nation, and they're not hearkening, all right, unto the Lord. They, they actually forsake the Lord and, and has forgotten the Lord, man, you know. But that stone which the builders refuse has become the headstone of the corner, man. So that headstone is Jehovah's side, man, and, and, and he's the ultimate rock, all right that we should be building upon because the scriptures tells us to not build upon another man's table. All right. The scriptures also say to what? Oh, to him that build, uh, build, build, uh, let me get it real quick. This is, uh, the book of Sirach 21 verse eight. It says he that built his house with other men's money is like one that gathered himself stones for, for the tomb of his burial. God, man, so hey, you you trying to build on, on a, another man's foundation rather than it. the Lord's foundation? All right, it's not gonna uh, so it's not gonna suffice you in the day of trouble. It's not gonna you're not gonna be protected. You're not gonna prevail in it. All right. What it says is, he that buildeth his house with other men's money is like one that gathered himself stones for the tomb of his burial. So you are building a. a your own burial by going into these other houses that's not beneficial to your for your salvation man for your spirit man you know and that's what's gonna be happening to two, two thirds of our people they going into the wrong house all right thinking they're gonna be confident they're gonna be in, in safety but in all reality they're gonna be tormented man you know and ult ultimately be burnt up with fire you know if they don't go into that house of safety you know but I was just gonna go on you know, like I said, I was just going to a few scriptures, man. I hope it's edifying. And I'm gonna say shalom. All right.